it's, it's almost um, surreal at first when you look down that far into the canyon because the river looks like a little blue thread and the train looks like it's a miniature train. And so it's, it's over a thousand feet. Uh, the beauty of it, I think, is just, I like the mountains, I like rocks, I, I like that whole city. Our son and his, his uh, wife were married at the, at the bridge in 1990, and it was just an informal, uh, you know, comfortable wedding. And part of our family tradition is for the groom to lead their bride to the car before they leave, the reception of the ceremony, in a wheelbarrow. So he had a, he wheeled his wife all the way across the bridge in an old rickety wheelbarrow. The bridge, I worked on the aerial tramway, and part of our duties were to inspect the track cables that supported the aerial tramway cabin, at least on a weekly basis, or if after a lightning storm or heavy windstorm, we did it immediately after. My daughter, Kendria, uh, loved to go to the Royal Gorge, and she loved the aerial tramway. So one day she asked me if she could ride with me to do the inspection of that cable. And since that particular day, she must have ridden it 20 times or more. Uh, she was the youngest of our three children and the only one that wasn't afraid of heights. So grandfather, great-grandfather Hayward Gall works for the Royal Gorge Bridge and his wife who ran the boarding house and their children all lived there on site with them. So when they had to go to school, he would take the four kids across the bridge to the Model T. They would have to jump from board to board to board. So he would carry the two smaller children and the big ones would hold on to his overalls and they would jump as a group from board to board. And the little ones would say if they fell, they were so tiny that they could slide right between the boards. So they were always scared to jump the boards. But this happened at least twice a day coming and going. I'm raised here in Canyon City over here on Riverside Drive. Okay. And so I've been visiting the gorge. My first time, third grade, we got to ride the train uh, from the depot to up to the gorge. Uh, the gorge itself is just a family place where years and years since we have connections there, family would say, oh, that's the trail where we used to walk down. Um, on their south rim to go play in the river. Um, and I look at that and I think, oh, there is no way that I would walk down there and play. Uh, and so we have photos of family from the base before conception up to, you know, clear up to the 2000s and stuff. Uh, it's paramount, it's significance of the accomplishments that these generations have accomplished through the depression in 29. Just think the factors of what persons had, didn't have, the jobs that it created, the history, the significance of the concept from an individual to be created in that gorge and everyone that it brought together through the generations. We have five generations that have been involved since in the, under the influence of the gorge. It has brought through the years since they opened the bridge, but even before it brought tourists from all over to look down in the big canyon and so it's brought a lot of revenue for canyon city and, and fremont county so it's been real important mm -hmm.